everyone. Let's hope this one works, eh? How you all doing? Okay, let's see where we were. Oh, that window's not going anywhere. Okay. Ooh, there's a hook there. We'll grab that hook. Okay, that's the first one. And the other one was... Alchemy and Thaumaturgy. Some silver dust has fallen from this book. Amongst the several substances we have discussed at the beginning, one of the most important is the Electrum, a union between gold and silver found in nature in the mines of Asia Minor called Lydia by the ancient Romans and which can be attained by the expert in his workshop with great knowledge of alchemy and goldsmith. The Electrum is a substance capable of unifying and maximizing the equality of gold and silver, realizing the sol solemn union of the metal dominated by the sun and its cold enzyme, the moon. Blessed son of this sublime union, the Electrum, a very pliable metal which is amber in color and closes its, within itself besides several other portentous gifts. A primary purifying capacity which, if conducted with great firmness of will, can remove evil and smells. It has been recounted in an ancient manuscript translated to Chinese from Arabic that an old wise woman, through her polished amber bell, was capable of distancing sickness from whoever heard the pleasant rings for a whole night. The manuscript does not directly mention the electrum, but from the description of the bell, as polished and amber in colour, it is doubtless that was the bell of Electrum, and not an average but a sublime alloy, as only the vibration of integral Electrum can produce the same purifying effects as the power of Electrum diffused in the air. Through puffs or through light and power them to the point of eliminating the sickness, the use of powdered Electrum spread through puffs or through light has been recounted by various and important sources. The same sources tell of wells situated within the walls of ancient temples, upon whose now dry bottom some electrum dust has collected. Elder witnesses tell of rituals performed by the ancient to clean and purify those wells. They would carry a lit cedarwood torch and hemp soaked in perfumed resin and lower it into the well after abundantly sprinkling noble electrum dust upon the ardent flame. Thus the flame diffused the benevolent dust in the well, illuminating every angle with its rays and purifying it. They motivated by superstition and not by metaphysical science, took great care of choice of materials used for this ritual, and would accompany it with chants, prayers and incantations. But we modern people know that the purifying effect was given by the electrum itself. Therefore it will be sufficient to diffuse it with a flame lit in the location or in the well or basin which one attends to purify so as to remove its filth. <sighs> okay, right. Now some dust fell. Did we? Uh, can we pick it up? No, it doesn't actually want to look where I wanted to look. How oh, weird. Okay, right, there doesn't seem to be any dust on the ground. So, I think we've actually done everything we're going to do in this room. I think we're going to have to come back and use that clamp somewhere. But I think we're done, so let's go into the main room. See you later, Twin Hearts. Thanks for coming along. Still someone crying in there? Let's see if there's anything new. The stove is still broken. The saw... is still broken. Ye gods, hoo-hoo! Oh, I suppose it adds a bit of light to the place, if nothing else, doesn't it? 
so now all we need to do is work out how to use our, our new ill-found items and I think one of the things I want to look at here is this knife blade knife blade it's a finely wart and its edge is still sharp it seems to respond to the touch of my hands one of the things I found oh there I did find some electrum dust okay it was bone hilt I wonder if we can just apply that to no okay Hook, axe, tool. No, that doesn't work at all. At all. Uh, uh, oh dear. Um, no, I don't think anything else is going to work there. So let's uh, get out of this menu and have a bit more of a look around. Are you looking there? Come on, let me open you up. Let me open you up. Come on. Doesn't seem to want to move. Uh, okay, leave it at. Okay, well, we have an axe. No, if the knife won't work on the soft roots, I'm sure an axe will. I'm not an expert, this will take some time. Okay. Hello, Lady Simba, how are you doing? I'll keep the root. I just cut with me. Okay. All sorts of things going on. Chain linked to some mechanism. Right. A hole that we can't look through. Still sounds like somebody's crying in there. Pull the stagnant water, I wonder. No. Worth a try, okay. This is a... This is a point and click adventure game, it's not supposed to make sense. Right, let's bolt shut with a padlock. Still can't pick that up. Do we have anything with which we can repair this stove? Soft roots. Well, that's really crying out repairing stove to me. What can we do to repair this saw? Right, anything likely to repair a saw? That's right, random tool doesn't work. Hooked blades doesn't work. Hook doesn't work. Soft roots. No, I didn't think that would work. Okay, right. Oh, congratulations, old lady Simmons. So nice to hear. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, 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 I wonder, I wonder. There we go. A wooden box. And a heap of... What you... Ooh. Okay, so what did we find there? We found a wooden box. And a heap of dried leaves. We can't look at them for information, but uh, we still have a wooden box. No, still can't think of what to do with that. I want that to be something, but it's not. 
we need to put a bucket or something in there. Don't think it's going to be this. Let's give it a try anyway. No. Okay. Uh. Okay, but please don't give me spoilers. Let me try to work it out. Okay, unless I unless I ask. Um, please don't give me spoilers. But let's let's do that. Let's put the lamp on the chain. I know. I think I know the reason why. It's so we can see downstairs. But uh, let's do it anyway. Right, lamp on chain. Um, okay, let's try it like that so I can see the chain. Lamp on chain. Nope. We like the lamp? Nope. Putting the lamp on the chain does not work. Probably have to do something else first. Put the hook on the chain. There we go. Okay, and then put the lamp on the hook. Do we have to light the lamp? Yes, we do. And then... Down it goes. The light is no longer obstructed, but it's still too weak. Okay, I'm sure that's going to mean something to us soon. Oh look! Oh look, oh look, oh look, oh look. Oh I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Um, now I wonder if we can put the Electrum in there. No? Alright, we need to purify the water in some way. We need to get rid of the mud or something I should imagine. Still can't go in there. But we're moving forwards, that's the important thing. Right, I wonder what that is going to be. I'm really intrigued. Right, let's see what we have left. I have a hook to put... Uh, oh! Did I try that? Hooks blade on the knife braid? No. <laughs> Axe on it. Uh, hooked blade on the table? No? Okay, right. Always worth a try, but not going to be them. Bars, oddly enough, they haven't wilted in the darkness. Yes, the burning mannequin is gone. I get a feeling that those things are going to appear from time to time just to scare us a bit. I wonder if there's anything worth taking through into here. Let's have a quick look, shall we? Ah! Oh, that was uh, oh, a bit bright and flashy, wasn't it? Right, I think... Okay, heavy knife... A heavy knife bench was used to cut wooden blocks. Its blade was very accurate. Okay, well... Try something. No, okay. No. And it's going to come down to using everything on everything again, isn't it? Yeah, the lamp, thanks for that. I mean, I do appreciate it. Um, I'm not particularly fussed. I mean, we're all doing this together. But, uh, you know, if you have played this through before and have watched a Let's Play of it, don't go round just sort of, oh, well, you want to do this bit next, you want to do this bit next, you want to do this bit next. Let's see if my idiocy can overcome this game. Right, not in there. Oh, hello April, how you doing? Alright, so that stove is still broken. You 
could find something to fix it. Alright, okay. A touch stymied for what to do now, but I'm sure we'll work it out amongst us. That is one hell of a puddle, isn't it? I mean, if, if the light can go down that deep, that's not a puddle. Okay, that's a grotty swimming pool, let's be honest here. Need to up the quality of the light. Now, we try putting Electrum in there, that's not quite worked. Uh, I don't think of anything else that would actually do the trick, to be totally honest with you. Oh, 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 have an idea. Have an idea. Idea I does have. Two mountains with which I am well acquainted. Castor and Pollux, or the twins. I'm not sure which side of the sawmill faces them. It's probably this side. What? Those faces weren't there a few seconds ago. Castor and Pollux. Or maybe they were there and I didn't notice them. Two twin faces like the mountains. Once upon a time, a very long time ago, when I was a kid in the army cadets, I used to teach people how to read maps. And I would do it by showing them a relief map of Mounts Dolly and Parton. Work that one out yourself. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of hoping that it's been long enough since you did this series, April, that uh, you'll um, perhaps not be as... This won't be as fresh in your mind as it, as, as it could be. Uh, right, so we've, we've actually we've done something here, but I'm not entirely certain what it's actually doing. Apart from adding to the graffiti. And we've got that. What if we look at it again? Wooden box. No. Same thing again. Alright. What if we do this again? We pull that up. That does disappear. Okay. Alright. <laughs> okay. Still haven't quite worked out how to do this saw. I haven't found anything I think to... Oh, I wonder. I must repair... Okay, that's for fuel. Alright. What could we use to repair it? Um, duct tape seems like a good idea, but I haven't found any yet. Let's pop in here again. Well, I'm impressed, uh, April. I mean, to be totally honest with you, I have problems remembering what I had for breakfast this morning, let alone uh, what I did in a, a Let's Play several years ago. Okay. Have a quick look around here. Right, we have that clamp. Um... I'm wondering about we're going to use that hilt and that knife blade or something like that in there together to make uh, a fixed knife. Hilt blade in there. I'm not an expert, but I'm afraid I would damage that blade even worse than it already is. I'd better try something else. Okay. Still have the tool, so I just imagine it still has some use. Axe? Of course not. Hello Melody, how you doing? Right, we tried everything on there, I think. <laughs> I don't know, it's so very long ago. Right. I wonder if something else is going to catch fire as we're walking past. Right. Okay, if anyone wants to spoil it, I'm getting a bit stymied, so... I, I'm certain that what we need to do is remove that knife blade. 
that I'm probably assess obsessing on it now, but uh, it seems like the next logical step for me. Uh, I can't think of what to do. Um, perhaps put some water in the crack? No. No. I don't know. Our all-purpose, our all-purpose wooden branch. I feel a strange. <laughs> Everything is fading away and constantly changing. I haven't felt like this since I was a student. Oh, love the mood lighting, guys. Let's have a quick look around. Okay, the vase apparently is ex The vase apparently is no longer angry at us. Okay, that's good. Hmm. Okay, right. Let's uh, see if we can make ourselves a knife then. So we'll pick up the knife blade and let's pop through here. Yes, it's a twig of mightiness plus 999. Sanity? I've never had use for the stuff. Right, okay, so. Alright, okay, let's open that up first. Then. Hilt? No, it's going to be the knife blade, isn't it? So we'll put the knife blade in there. No? No? Okay. Alright. Oh, God. I w Wish they'd done a get a press escape to get out of that. Alright, so, alright. Knife blade in there? No. Do we just use them on each other? There we go. The two pieces fit together perfectly. I've just built some sort of ritual dagger. What's just happened there? I reassembled the ritual knife. I haven't any clue about its origins, but I'm certain it's ancient. It's got it written on the side. The weirdest thing is that when I put the blade together, it reacted to the heat of my hand. Hmm. Alright, well, it's fairly obvious what we're going to use the knife for. It's going to be to get bits of me, probably the liquid parts. Oh, oh, I just noticed something. I never saw that before. Don't know how to reach it. I do. Okay, let's try a tool. No. Hooked blade, no. Uh... Soft roots, no. Twig of power, where are the twig of power? It's gone. We've used its awesomeness for the last time, guys. Mm. Okay. Does anyone know what this is supposed to represent? I'm assuming it's our sanity or our attempts at gardening or something like that. So if anyone could let me know what that is, that would be really good. Okay, this is not good. Um, I don't believe I'm actually broadcasting. 